Geier Mengen Metzop! Welcome. The tourney is on the way. Might I glance at your deck? Sure. Here. An impressive array. Count Monnier waits inside. You may enter. Thanks. There you are. A pleasure to see you again. The Skellige faction, how do you find it? It's great. Faction's a pleasure to play. I'm glad to hear it. Any specific tournament rules? Mind giving me an overview? Firstly, might I introduce the contestants? Superb Gwent players all, hailing from the world's farthest corners. Hamal Ochen Dankbali. An Ophieri merchant. Eric van Frog, a patrician from Novigrad. And lastly, we are proud to welcome a Skelliger. Ye blind? Not Skelliger, Skelligirl, damn it! Naturally, no offense meant. Agnetha Skolt, her effort charming isle temperament in evidence, along with assorted beats, baubles, ropes. As to the rules, they're simple. Each player adopts a faction they cannot change for the tourney's duration. Lose a match, and you're eliminated. The winner from among you shall advance to the semi-final to face the winner of the tourney's previous edition, His Excellency the Ambassador of the Empire of Nilfgaard, Master von Hinn. The winner of that match shall in turn face none other than me, your humble servant. Hands off our Gwent! No new fucking factions! <laughs> Protesters have gathered outside. Quite a few, it seems. Hands off our bloody game! We didn't want any new factions! Money, you dozy cunt! Stop doubling with dwarven tradition! Change cannot always please everyone. Gwent traditionalists resent my efforts to expand the canon to include Skellige, but we shall pay them no mind. Mind telling me what factions the others will be playing? It is no secret. Eric van Frog will play the Northern Realms. His Excellency, in a flush of patriotism, chose Nilfgaard. Hamal Ochendagbali will play the Monster Stack, and Agnetha Skold has chosen Skoyatel. Yours truly, of course, shall await the winner with a Skellige deck. I'm determined to prove its value. Ready to start if everybody else is. I invite you to join me on the terrace. The Herald shall soon announce the tourney's start. Let the tourney begin! In round one, Agnetha Skult Faces Eric von Vrog, and Geralt of Rivia plays Hamel on Gangbali. Let's grab a table. A wager, would you wish to make? What did you have in mind? Weapons do I collect, and your sword of silver my eye has caught. Should I win, I should take it. Should I lose to you another equally precious, shall I give you? So be it.
victory congratulate I you. What drove me to wager a sword against you, my lord? Clearly to guide me, the universe ceased. Here, you may it so well. I'd never have lost if you hadn't cheated. And my land, folk who slander like that don't live long, because we don't let them. Accuse me of cheating again, and I'll cut your tongue out. Enough. Hands to yourselves. As Gwent is a gentleman's sport, we expect all its players to demonstrate impeccable manners, and we cannot tolerate any disturbances. Thus, by decision of Count Monier, the contestants from Novikrat and Skellige are hereby disqualified. Gentlemen's sport. Well, I'm a lady, and we ladies don't give a flying thought about a tourney where any reason prick can accuse us of cheating. With round one completed, the standings are as follows. Agnetha Skolt and Eric Van Vroeg both disqualified. Geralt of Rivia has defeated Hamel Ongenvali of Ophir. In the semi-final, Geralt shall face the defending champion, Ambassador Von Hin. I am honored.
Your Excellency. A pure pleasure to play you. The pleasure was mutual, I assure you. Congratulations, Witcher. Stop desecrating Gwent! To, to any and all new factions! Seems there's some trouble brewing. Scoot, Olius! Off your asses and hide to Skellige! Yeah, I love it, seal slappers. Please remain calm and stop the verbal attacks. Stop your mum from fucking ferrets, Monier! And hands off our Gwent! Get out of here before my patience runs thin. Hear that? Gutter size threatening us. Only one answer to verbal aggression of that sort. Once more, I beg and plead, be calm. Shut your yap, Monier. Enough of this. Didn't come here to jabber, but to break fucking heads in defense of tradition. Come on, lads. A bit. Mark, seeing triple, quadruple even. Enough! I shall summon the guard. I got this count. Sure, you can shut this tournament down, but there'll be another with who knows what new rules. If you don't like them, don't enter. Play somewhere else, however you want. But you'll never stop other folk from playing however they like. Bollocks! Like my good friend Zoltan Chive says. If one says you're talking bollocks, they could be right, they could be wrong. But if multiples say you're talking bollocks, well, you probably are. So let's take a vote. Who else here thinks I'm full of it? Zoltan Chive? Haven't seen that rascal in ages. How's he doing? Was in Novigrad last I saw him. Be glad to tell you more over a flask of something strong. Attention, everyone! Our outing's taken a new turn. We're to sit and drink vodka with Zoltan's pal! Gentlemen, wait. We've still the final round of the tournament to play. Final? Fuck that! I, Yaki Raffiberg, to hereby declare my participation in this tournament. And I demand to play the victor. We'll settle whether the Skellige factions want a flaming bag of shit! Once and for all! Agreed, but please, show some patience. We must first play a pre-final. In the... Uh, pre-final, Count Monnier, representing the Skellige faction, shall face Geralt of Rivia, also playing with a Skellige deck. My brother's dream has come true. Skellige in the final, and played by both contestants. Good luck.
Congratulations. The best man has won. Playing the best faction to boot. Thanks. Good game. Skelliger won. What a bundle of pish. Tournament's not done. No, it's my turn. That is what we agreed. Let us resolve our differences here and now. Now to determine the ultimate victor! Geralt of Rivia, playing the Skelliger faction, shall face Yaki Raffiberg, playing... Skyatel! Let the better man, or dwarf, win!
blasters. What hurts most is fucking skill of your one. But as they say, tough shit. Congrats. Come on, lads. Let's get soused. No, you must stay, for I wish to treat you all to a tickle. We must toast the premier of the new faction. And if anyone wishes to play a friendly match with Gwent, I see no reason why not. Thank you for everything, Witcher. Don't think that went exactly as you planned. What matters is we played Gwent. I presented the Skellica faction. You proved yourself a true Gwent master. Here, the grand prize. You earned it. Thank you very much, Count. Thank you once more for deigning to take part in my little tournament. I hope we shall meet again. Who knows? Farewell. Oi! Primal participation is, whereas vindicating victory would be. May we all play fair, show respect for our opponents, and may the best amongst us win. Greetings, Greyfather. Is that truly necessary? A witcher is more clear. Chop that's queer. A witcher means trouble. Always. <laughs> Sir? Uh, the world these days. <laughs> I'm my own master with a bottle in front of me. You must loosen up. It's no disaster, not like a frontal lobotomy. bottom. Uh, this year, once more, Come I aim on. to prove Come your here. God no I shan't bite you. I would hate to come off as important. Did you care, sir? Welcome to the pheasantry. See you later. That's bad luck. Calm down. Too much out again. Greetings, Knight. My most heartfelt gratitude, sir. Compensation for your sacrifice. Well, see you later. Go in peace for a night.
The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chains. Long live to Kessa Anna Henrietta. and wine are rather suited for this. I'm here. Let us go. We should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious. Let's go. The things I do for art. We had best ride there. But we'll arrive faster and less fatigued. A work of mine. Turtle Duff or the Heath hangs in the Ducal Palace. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed, maybe even with heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down tempera. Yeah, I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? To paint with, of course. And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said, and fantastically expensive. Hang on. Got a cat that paints? Yeah. If you care to call it that, he merely copies the works of his betters, and poorly at that. Your cat? Yes. Pierre-Auguste Moustachois. It's no surprise you've not heard of him. He's a second-rate hack and a thief. We'll continue on foot. Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, but have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them. They, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that I assure you. They're a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. I'm done for. Unless you would be kind enough to locate them? Wouldn't happen to have another set with you? And uh, nothing you could use instead? My word. Would you really have me scrawl with charcoal like an animal? Ah, uh, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything. Set it out. Ordered and organized. Hmm. Might have toppled downhill or something. Fine. I'll take a look around. I think it is life that imitates art. And not vice versa. Right you are, Fingo. Take Baron de Cordel for one. Oh, yes, that nose. Spilled he paint. Reeks to high heavens of turpentine. And now he's begun courting his cousin. Footprints smudged. Footprints, clear, but curiously small. An 
another stain. Could very well be a lead. Footprints, clear, but curiously small. Another stain, could very well be a lead. Knackers? Like they made off with the pain. Found your things. Splendid! Where were they? And... Mm, is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a battle scene to me. <laughs> Impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect, absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tails. Mm, better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tails. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting, A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. You jest. <laughs> A jesting witcher. Is the place? Yes! Just look at the view. Breathtaking! The perfect background for our masterpiece. 
Mm, pretty, I guess. Now, you must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering. All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? How about I be on horseback? I mean, Roach kind of deserves to be immortalized too. Oh yes, a horse! Exceptional idea! But I would rather you perch atop Alexander, my mount. I've trained him to pose. I shall paint in the carcass of a slain griffin later. Now, raise your head to exude pride. Thrust your breast forward. Go on, breast forward. I want to see those hooks extended. Ahem. Is the horse paying attention? May I begin? Or would you rather try a different pose? Go ahead. Now, if you wouldn't mind, that look you gave me when I first asked you to pose, would you be so kind as to adopt it again? That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Yes, excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. <sighs> this gonna take much longer? Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please, keep your head still, in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. Griffin! Yeah, I know. You'll paint one in later. Gods! A Griffin! <laughs> Run and hide. Dearest mummy! Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death! Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? Uh, it did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof, monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid! Hmm, interesting color palette. And the textures, and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later, in my atelier. 
There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far cut and chopped. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. And I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your likeness. Um, for posterity. You have proven the five chivalric virtues dwell in your heart. Mean the sword's mine? I can dive in and take it? The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy through combat atop the water's surface. Are you ready? Anytime. Then draw your blade. Thank you. 
Behold, your Arendite. We've met before. Certainly. The Hermit admitted he knew you, remember? The Lady of the Lake. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good. And for these reasons you receive the blade. Now bear it. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. Just wonderful.